D550 is one of the newest AMD chipsets. It's here to replace its predecessor B450 and to be used with Ryzen 3000 and upcoming Ryzen 4000 series. Even though B550 motherboards are more expensive, in the most cases they provide quite a huge improvement on VRM and some additional features. And today I have one of the top mid-range boards, ASRock B550 Extreme 4. We will dive into the main features of this board, so after this video you will be able to decide if this one is for you. But if this is your first time on this channel, on Epic Game Tech I share my passion in gaming PC build videos, unboxing parts and helping you guys by posting simple how-to guides. So if you find these topics interesting, consider subscribing. Are you ready? Let's go! So this is B550 Extreme 4 motherboard from ASRock. It's quite similar to another B550 ASRock motherboard, Steel Legend. It actually shares the same VRM but different looks and a few additional features. At first I will do an unboxing of Extreme 4 motherboard. Then I will walk through an I.O. and finally we will check internal headers and features this motherboard has to offer. Let's do some quick unboxing and check on what is included in the box. First of all we have a software setup guide and a quick installation guide. In case you will be building a PC for the first time, this will definitely help you out, especially when connecting front I.O. panel. Even nowadays you get a CD with drivers, but I always recommend getting the latest ones from an official website, since the included ones can be outdated already. And you got a sticker and a postcard. A postcard, that's right. Next we have a several included tiny M.2 screws and a few M.2 riser screws. Most of the time you get two SATA cables for your storage, but in this case ASRock included four cables with this motherboard. And it's quite handy to have a few more in case you are building a video editing rig and you will be adding more storage devices later on. There are two included Velcro straps. They are quite handy when building a PC, as you can organize your cables more easily. And here comes B550 Extreme 4 motherboard. It's packed really well and even a few zip ties are used to keep it secure while shipping. This motherboard has a blue color accent, so you might want to keep that in mind when planning your PC build appearance. Even though I do not think it will be much visible inside of a PC case, especially if you plan to use RGB fans and stuff. If you like my content so far, smash that like button. Let's move on to an I.O. panel. At first we have HDMI 2.1, in case you decide to use a CPU with an integrated graphics. Then a PS2 port, two third gen USB Type-A ports, two second gen USB Type-A ports, third gen USB Type-A and Type-C ports, two and a half gigabit LAN, a few more second gen USB ports, 7.1 channel audio and an optical out port. And so in terms of USB ports, you will have quite plenty of them and the 2.5 gigabit LAN is a nice upgrade over a B450 chipset motherboards. Let's have a look at motherboard headers and other features it provides. This is where we can feel a really big difference from B450 motherboards. Extreme 4 has a 14 phase VRM covered by decent heatsinks. This should be enough even for an overclocked 16 core Ryzen 9 3950X. It actually doesn't matter which CPU you will be running since you are covered here. What about storage? In total you have 6 SATA ports for your SSD or HDD drives, as well as 2 M.2 storage slots for your fast NVMe drives. Both M.2 slots are covered with armor and one of them supports PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drives with crazy fast speeds. There's one more M.2 slot, but it's meant for a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth module. 
As in a standard ATX motherboard, you have 4 DIMM slots that supports up to 128GB of RAM and speeds of 4733MHz. In case you like RGB stuff, this motherboard has you covered as well, as it features two 12V RGB headers and two 5V addressable RGB headers. As well as it has some integrated RGB lights on board itself. And one of the best things about this motherboard, it has a debug LED, the power and a reset button. This is handy especially if you are using it on a test bench or playing around with an overclocking. And you certainly will in case you consider this motherboard. Are you planning to use quite a few fans? ASRock B550 Extreme 4 has 7 4 pin headers. One for your CPU, another one for a pump and 5 more for additional case fans. Regarding internal USB headers, it has a few 2nd gen, 1 3rd gen and 1 USB Type-C header. All in all, this is a really great board. It will handle any currently available AM4 platform CPU and has quite a good upgrade path for upcoming Ryzen series. But I recommend getting this board in case you are planning to use it with Ryzen 9 processors, since it's a bit of an overkill for a Ryzen 5 or 7 CPUs. Unless you specifically need certain features this board can offer. I'm planning to make a few more B550 motherboard overviews for different price points, but for now I can share a few recommendations from my side. MSI B550 Gaming Plus or B550A Pro boards are a bit cheaper alternatives you can get with a decent VRM and overclocking capabilities. These boards can handle an overclocked 3950X as well, but you will lose some features like onboard power and reset buttons as well as debug LED. In case you are looking for a good micro ATX motherboard, MSI B450M Morta is a way to go. It's also capable of running 16 core beast from AMD. But if you are looking for more of a budget option, say for Ryzen 5 3600 or 3700X, you could get ASRock B550M Pro 4 or MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi, as these two are the best value budget options you can get. I will leave a link to all of these B550 motherboards in the description below. Do you have any questions or doubts? Just leave a comment below and I will get back to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed B550 Extreme 4 Motherboard Overview and you can find even more stunning videos by clicking here.